Hello and welcome to part one of our series of short Blade overviews for the 2020 version of Bloodsport. I'm Nick and I do the Blade design on Team BNS. We brought five Blades to this year's season of BattleBots, each one specialized for a different kind of opponent. Left over from last year, we have the iconic long bar that became our team logo, as well as the key, which we made at the same time but didn't use last season. We also have three new weapons, designed to make Bloodsport more stable and less likely to flip itself over. More on that in a later video, but the new blades are the Tri Bar, the Thick Bar, and the one this video is about, the Disc. After the postponement of the 2020 filming, we took the extra time to reevaluate our various strategies. Our team shares a shop space with Team Sawblaze, and as we saw their bot coming together, we realized that Bloodsport really didn't have an answer to their style of overhead attack. Our weapon may be on top of the robot, but if a bot like Sawblaze, Scorpios, or Quantum were to pin us to the wall and stop the blade, it wouldn't offer much defense. Without weight for substantial top armor, we needed to think of a way to cover the bot even when the weapon isn't spinning. And thus, the disc was born. With a sweep diameter of only 36 inches, the disc is our shortest weapon. It's also our second lightest weapon, but with a spinning mass of nearly 73 pounds, it's still a heavy hitter. The hope is that the short weapon will also spin up better, since it'll be harder for an opponent to reach it with their armor to slow it down. To cover as much area as possible, we made the disc thinner than our other weapons at just half an inch thick. This also allowed us to have the disc laser cut from AR500 steel, cheaper and less brittle than our usual S7 tool steel. To help us dig into armor and cut through exposed wheels, we went with a positive rake angle on the teeth. AR500 isn't quite as hard as S7, and last year's bar already had some tooth wear problems, so we didn't make the teeth quite as aggressive this time. It should still bite pretty well though. And that's the disc! Thank you for watching, and make sure to see how this blade does on Thursday 8pm on Discovery Channel.